Hello everyone, welcome to the part 3 of this tutorial. So in this one what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do two things. Uh, so what we're gonna do is updating the React Native Design Utility just to make sure then uh, we can change this animate view to be the box. So it's gonna be really easy, we talk about like one minute. After that we're gonna do the Facebook login part. So the plan is just to be able to get the token from the user. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, the application in the Facebook uh, developer um, panel. After that, um, we're gonna make sure that we can log and get that to the console. And we're gonna stop there for this video. In the second part, so the, the part number 3.5, I'm gonna show you the same thing, but now with Google. So first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna jump in the terminal. So make sure you are inside the right project. And just do yarn add uh, React uh, Native Design Utility. So yesterday I made some change, so I make sure then that's gonna work with animated. So I just want to uh, to use it. I think that's gonna just uh, be more simpler in the long run because I want to add a much more uh, design. So you are supposed to have the version 14. The way that work because it's not already an animated uh, component. What we can do it just create one. So what we do at the top, it's create a new variable called box animated, who finally is gonna be animated that create animated uh, component. Inside this one, you just pass the name of the component. So I pass box, so my box here. So now what I can do is example, change this value animated view to be this one. Now, because I don't need this style like that, I can just use my utility by doing flex 0.9 width of one. The only thing I'm gonna keep in style is gonna be the opacity. Like I told you, my library let you use style. So if I don't have provide you something or you don't like some stuff, you can just use style, that's it. So now if we say this is supposed to continue to work, you see, that still work. So now we can do the same here, change that to be box animated. We're gonna say um, flex one. And now just by removing this, that's supposed to work. Perfect. So the first thing is done. Second thing, we're gonna jump in the terminal and we're gonna follow the expo uh, docs to do the Facebook login. It's gonna be really simple. I know some people have asked me to do this in plain uh, uh, React Native Vanilla. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this week with expo. And next week, I'm gonna just show you in a video outside of the schedule about how to install the Facebook SDK, Google SDK uh, for doing this in the native one. So uh, everyone gonna be happy. And I'm gonna show also how to install the vector icon we have used yesterday. So first thing, go to this website, developer Facebook apps. And inside this one, what we're we gonna do it's create a new app. So click on add a new app. And here, I'm gonna uh, just put the name in store. I'm not sure if your is gonna work, uh, if you use the same name, but yeah. So here I'm gonna create an app ID. I'm gonna say I'm not a robot. Perfect, now it work. So the way I'm gonna uh, play with this, it's now, we're gonna need to go to the setting basic. Inside this one, now copy your app ID. Open your app.json inside uh, your project. And inside this one, the way uh, Expo told us to do, is just to put a uh, Facebook ID and the Facebook um, uh, uh, scheme. So inside the IO, uh, inside my app JSON, I'm gonna add this Facebook ID, and I'm gonna copy paste the one I have right there. After that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need to have my um, uh, Facebook scheme. The way I always do this is I click here. After that you search for your application, you scroll down, and I take this right there. So this is supposed to always start with that FB and 
bla bla bla. Now you go to uh, uh, sorry, it's Facebook scheme like that. So just say Facebook scheme, and now you paste this value. By pasting this two value now, because it's expo, it's already start. You don't gonna understand it, okay? But we don't even also have finished. What we need to do in iOS part, we're gonna need to paste this value. So inside the insert, scroll down a bit, click on add a platform. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger for you. Click on iOS, paste that as the bundle ID. Go back to Expo, paste this value right there. So this is the Android Ash. Click Add Platform, Android, paste that right there. And now click Save Change. Really important, save the change. If you don't, you're gonna stop, like I, I stuck a lot for me. For this logo, I'm gonna provide you one, uh, not today, but maybe tomorrow, so we can have all the same app icon when we show it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my terminal. And I'm gonna just close this here. And I'm gonna just restart. Why? It's because Expo, I start with your app.json and the, this app.json don't gonna refresh when the app is running. So you need to restart it. So now I'm gonna rerun my app in iOS. Perfect. So now what I'm gonna do, the way I like to work with this kind of stuff, and that's gonna be the same with Google. It's inside my resource. I'm gonna create a new folder called API. So the API can be the API for me or third party API. So I put everything there. So here I'm gonna have an API called Facebook. This Facebook API, I'm gonna have like 20, 25 line of code. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with exporting some stuff from Expo. Facebook and constant. After that, and we need to say what is going to be the permission we want for this app. So perfect, uh, public profile and email are the both I want. After that, I'm going to create a function called logging async. That's going to be, oops, that's going to be an async function. So that's going to be a premises. And here what I'm going to do, it's I'm going to do a try, catch. And finally, at the bottom, I'm gonna export a Facebook API. This is the name I want to put this. And I just put this login async inside this object. Here, for the error, I'm gonna just console log the error. And also, I'm gonna return a premises. I don't really need this. I can just return promises.reject and I pass the error inside that. For the try, this is why we do the logic. There's gonna be an await function with the Facebook dot log with read permission. Inside this one, the first argument you need to pass, it's your app ID. The way you can get in from Expo, it's constant that manifest. And now here, Facebook app ID, like that. After that here, you put a comma, curly bracket, where you can have some option, and you just pass permission. At the end here, you can destructuring two things, the type and the token. So here, what I'm going to do, it's I'm going to check if my type is a success. If it's a success, the only thing I want to do is return promises that result. And here I pass a token. So I just want to return the token to where I'm going to call this function. If it's not a success, what I'm going to return, what I'm going to return, it's going to be um, a rejection. So premises that reject, and I'm going to just say uh, no success. You can handle this much more better, but I think for that, that's going to be okay. So now I'll make sure this is what the code looks like. Go back in the logging screen. So right now when I click on continue with Facebook, we get the Facebook press. Okay. So now what we can do is change that and say Facebook API, click enter that should auto import dot login async. So this is an async 
So we're gonna need to put these in. I'm gonna put that inside track catch. Here, I want to just console log the error. Here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say const token equal the value of this. And finally here, I'm gonna just say token and console log the token. For debugging this stuff, I really encourage you, I'm gonna put the link in the description to download this tool called React Native Debugger. If you use Mac, you can install that with Homebrew. And I think with Windows, they have a way to install it. Uh, or you can just use the Chrome extension if you want. So the way that's gonna work for, for me here, it's I'm gonna just paste something in my package the JSON. I'm, I'm gonna, you can just follow uh, the line I'm gonna put in the repo. Uh, or just pose it but this line here it's almost always a copy and paste for me so what we do is just i want to open the react native debugger tool and set the debugger local host port to be uh, this one because this is the one expo use so inside the terminal now i can run yarn debug so for me that open this stuff right there like that and i'm gonna make it a bit bigger that open this for me. For make sure that works, you can just do command D or control D and do debug remote GS. If you see this console was clear and now you see you have right there, this, that means it's, it's good, that's gonna work. So now I want to click on this continue with Facebook and now you see, log into your Facebook account to connect to install. Perfect, so it looks like it worked. So now we can put the email and Facebook password. What we can do, it's click on roll, click on test user. So we can create fake user to test the application. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on add. I'm gonna click one new test user. I'm gonna say he have 18 years old and he talk English. So that's gonna give me a random user. So Isabella, and I cannot pronounce this and then don't give any, even try. So here we have the email. So just copy this email you're gonna add for your own and copy paste that inside uh, your uh, uh, <coughs> simulator. After that, because we don't have a password, what you can do is click on edit and you can click on change the name or password of this test user. New password for me, I'm gonna say hello world. So hello well 18 for uh, 2018 hello well 18 now i'm gonna click save so if that works that's gonna refer the screen perfect now go back to your Aaron, uh, react native debugger and now here just put the password 18. so now if i click login now you see install will receive your name and profile picture because I say public picture. And after that, uh, I say also the email address. Uh, this is what we put in the permission. So that's gonna be because of this stuff we have put inside the Facebook right there. So now here, if we click on continue with Isabella, you see, we get a token right there. So for this video, we're gonna stop there because this token is gonna be used after that in the backend and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So right now, I'm gonna stop this one there and we're gonna jump on the version uh, 0.5 of this part just to get the Google one. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment if you like it, if you have any question. Again, for those who want any uh, React Native, I'm surely gonna do this this weekend uh, and push some video next week for showing you how to put the SDK and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy and we talk in the next one.